The Deep Impact mission was a mission to Comet Temple 1 to deliver an impactor in 2005. The instruments on the Deep Impact spacecraft were designed to be diagnostic in a flyby of a comet. We got some fascinating results from Comet Temple 1. But once we got past Temple 1, we had plenty of fuel left, the spacecraft was healthy, then immediately everybody set to work on figuring out what new bodies we could get to. That's what uh, led to the proposal to come go to uh, Comet Hartley 2. It's really a good deal for, for NASA and for the, the American public to send a spacecraft to a, a whole new mission for maybe uh, a small fraction of what the, a new mission cost. We were able to retarget the spacecraft using a few flybys of Earth take advantage of the gravity assist from Earth to retarget ourselves, change our trajectory just enough so that now we're able to get to Comet Hartley 2 in November. Because this wasn't what the spacecraft was planned for, there's challenges and there's uh, inevitably going to be surprises. The geometry of the Temple 1 flyby was such that we could look at the comet and take images at the same time that our high gain antenna was pointed at Earth. Because of the geometry of the Hartley 2 flyby, when we're pointed at the comet on approach, our high gain antenna cannot see the Earth so we cannot downlink data in real time. So we have to design everything to, for one thing, protect that imaging sequence to make sure that no matter what happens, we're able to recover and keep taking images. The things we will be looking for will be how different is the nucleus compared to the other comets that we've been to. What does the nucleus look like that makes it so active? Can we see which parts of the comet are emitting so much gas? And what's the nature of the chemicals, the compounds that are coming off the comet? The excitement about studying comets is really driven by getting a better understanding of the early phases and early formation of our solar system. Comets essentially have been in the refrigerator since the beginning of the solar system, and so when we explore these objects and we find out what they're made of, we get a look back to the beginning of the formation of the solar system. This mission is very economical, and we're going to get fantastic science from this flyby opportunity. Mm -hmm.